Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Sundays with Selly. As you can tell, we are not in the Navtronic showroom today. I am out and about. I am actually back in Michigan. I'm on Lake Mac. Uh, this is my old stomping grounds here, so I thought, uh, what better place to check out, get a nice backdrop for us. And today, we are going to be talking about the Navionics app. It goes on any of your smartphones, your droids, your tablets. It's a really great app to have. It costs a couple of dollars, but what you're going to get out of it is great. If you're going on other people's boats, you're doing chartering, you're going different places, it's great supplement technology for you to give you that ever critical situational awareness. So let's check the app out. Let's see some of the features that it brings to us and how it can help us be better informed boaters. All right. So everybody is fairly familiar with the Navionics app and the charts and how everything works. Most people have it on their phone. A lot of people have it on their tablet. But what I don't think is a lot of people know the amount of horsepower this has for you guys, whether it's for cruising, trip planning, fishing, sailing. You've got a lot of stuff that's available to you here. So if we look and we go to the bottom left corner and we've got the double stack square in the middle and we press on that, you'll see we have the chart layers is the first thing there. We have nautical charts. We can press on sonar charts. That's going to bring us up to our sonar charts with all the uh, one foot contours. You have your more traditional government chart, as you can see right here, that a lot of people are very familiar with. So we can go back to our nautical charts and now we have satellite overlay and that's going to give us our overlay on our land locations. Instead, we can change that over terrain, and that's just going to give us basically topography map. Uh, very limited. But something new that they have offered now is sonar chart shading. I'm going to go ahead and close after we highlight that. Any of you that have watched uh, all of the Sundays of Selly know that Garmin introduced relief shading back in uh, December. And now it is available on the Navionics app. No additional charge. You now have this overlay feature, which is really slick as we kind of move around here a little bit. You can see we're, we're actually going to get images of the ocean floor. We're looking at a topography map of the ocean floor. And if you really want to dial in, we go back to our menu over here on the left again. And we decide on our chart layer to go sonar chart. Now, as you see, the lines are starting to fill in. We'll close that. Now I can zoom in here. And now, not only do I have a very nice picture of the ocean floor with the contours and the depths, but I've also got the one-foot contour lines that match up against that to make for a really great knowledge if you're fishing, but also if you're cruising. You're going into new cruising grounds. You're looking for an anchorage. You're looking for those spots. This is really great information to be able to have right there. And you can just turn it right back off. We can turn right back out of there, and then we're done. So that's an awesome feature in and of itself. But another great thing that I personally enjoy about uh, the Navionics app is when I've got to go do a delivery or I've got to go somewhere new, as you can see I've got different areas highlighted on here, and these are all the places I've gone cruising or done deliveries in or anything like that. So now I can just come onto the chart and say, you know what, I've got something coming up uh, down here and let's look in Jacksonville or how about Wilmington? That's a nice area, right? Southport. We can come over. Now we select menu and we say we want to download a map. We go to download the map. We get a green square. We can take our fingers and pinch out and make that map a little smaller. We kind of move the screen in there and we say download. Now here we go. It's going to download that map for that area as long as you have good Wi-Fi, obviously. And now what we can do is we can zoom right in here. And now all of a sudden we have all the chart information. We have current uh, tides. We have the active captain things. We have chart uh, information on here. We have marina information on here. And the same thing, we can go back into this and we can put it in sonar chart mode. We can put it in uh, sonar chart shading. And it's going to go ahead and we're going to get all of that info. Uh, it must still be downloading there. There we go. And now we have all of that information for the channel. We can pull that out and now we can very clearly see what's going on in the Cape, uh, Cape Fear River entrance. It's really nice to have. And then one last feature that I just don't think a lot of people know, especially if you're sitting at home and uh, you're planning trips in the near future, you say, you know what, I want to do some cruising. So let's, for our sake, say 
we're going to come up here to our, our neck of the woods and say we're going to start a route. So what we want to do is we go to a route and we say automatic and we are going to just put our finger on the map right outside the buoy, never on a buoy. That's our starting point. And I can zoom out and I can say, you know what, I want to go up to, let's see, where do we want to go? How about we go up into Portland here and I want to go into Portland Harbor. I'll put my finger right there. Now it's going to go through and plan a route for us. It has my boat settings in there, which is, you know, four and a half foot of safe water, 14 knots of uh, cruising speed and 20 gallons an hour. So now not only, look at that right there, it's a 45 uh, nautical mile trip. It's going to take me a little over three hours. I'm going to use 65 gallons of fuel. There's a bunch of marinas, a bunch of information right there. And I've got this nice magenta line that I can follow right here. And you can see we kind of review it and look at it. Right there, we just tell it to go. And that's it. Now it's all set. It's done. We know how far off we'll have our speed when we start moving and all of that stuff. So it is a very handy, powerful tool to use. All right, so what do you guys think? Definitely worthwhile. Maybe you guys learned a couple of new features you didn't know were available on the iPad or with the Navionics app for your phone. You know, that's what we're here for, to teach you guys and keep you up to date on the latest marine technology. Why don't you give us a follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Navtronics, and you can stay up to date with all the latest tech trends, marine projects, and happenings that we have going on. Until next time, guys, I'm going to enjoy my time in Michigan. I'm going to be back uh, next week with something new. Who knows? And until then, peace.